guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tanika dion all righty well this is day four of my um five dollar hair challenge that i did um going to the dollar store and using only um dollar store products to give myself a wash and go and this is day four and you guys you know no this has to go Y'all know I have never washed my hair in four days with a wash and go. I get them to last, people. I get them to last. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, this is what it's looking like, you see. Not as defined. I mean, you know, whatever. And this is just with me waking up and shaking it out. I didn't put any uh, revive on it or any oils or nothing. This is just with me make, waking up, no sprucing up or nothing like that. This is just how it is. I woke up, took the scarf off, sh shook it out, and that's it. So, yeah, so this is what it's looking like. But it is day four, like I said, and I'm about to do another wash and go because this is definitely not lasting. Got frizzies here and, like, parts all. I don't know. It's just, you know, but... For the five dollars it still worked um for people that can't afford to you know buy the expensive stuff costing twenty dollars and 18 you know all the different products that natural hair has to offer the dollar store does give you options and it does save money it does work you just probably will have to wash your hair more but it's okay so anyway well today i was going to attempt to do a uh, wash and go combo that i saw on gracefully curled channel where she used the um don't shrink flaxseed um well aunt jackie's flaxseed don't shrink elongating uh gel she used this and then she also used the curl enhancing smoothie she said those two combination was really good and i saw her results and they did the reason why mine is open because i wanted to show you guys <laughs> I opened up my jar and look, I have nothing. This is definitely not enough to do my whole hair. See, I didn't look at the products before I decided to wake up and say I was gonna wash my hair. If I had known, I'd have went to the store yesterday and bought another one. But since I did not, um, I looked in my stash and I said, I'm just going to use something else. I'm still going to use the Aunt Jackie's um, gel, but I found that I had this um, Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Recipes Curl Main Tenets uh, Defining Curl Whip Anti-Proof. So it's by Aunt Jackie's as well. And I've never used this. I saw that I had it in my stash, so I said, oh, and I opened it and I never used it. I had this probably about two months. Um, I was going to use it for something else that I saw on somebody else's channel, but never got to it. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to use these two instead, and then I'm going to wash my hair. I'm on my phone, guys, so it's going to be a little shaky because I didn't do my intro and everything downstairs on my camera like I normally do. I just came upstairs and decided to wash my hair. So, and I'm also going to use the Aunt Jackie's Oh So Clean Moisturizing Shampoo today. So, I've used this many times. And also the Aunt Jackie's In Control uh, Conditioner. I'm going to use this as well. And then the Aunt Jackie's Quench Moisture Leave-In uh, Conditioner. So basically a whole Aunt Jackie's day to day. So, um, and as you guys know, I don't show when I wash my hair. Maybe one day, but not today. I'm just going to go ahead and wash it and just pop back in here and there just to show you some things, okay? All right, guys, I just wanted to pop back in really quickly. Um, I did get my little... Um, cell phone tripod so that I can show you you know hands free instead of shaking all over the place this time but um yeah I just finished washing my hair and conditioning um I did not deep condition today no reason I just didn't feel like it but you know I, I just didn't do it today anyway so now um yeah I sectioned it off already into two sections I usually do four but the, this today I'm just going to combine the two uh, back halves into one normally I set that I mean um, separate that as well but whatever guys anyway I'm gonna take my um water bottle here and just wet my hair some so I'm just going to show you what the products look like since they're new products um to be tried together um I have used the um flaxseed gel before i just didn't use it with uh this before so yeah and i'm gonna, I'm gonna do uh one section and that's it and then i'll do the rest off camera you guys know i'll be trying to make my videos short although i probably should make them longer so i can help with my views and watch time but whatever i don't even care it is what it is. As long as I got my people that watch me, that's all that matters. So, appears to be nice and wet. 
All right, so. Now, I'm gonna take, whoa, take this Aunt, uh, Aunt Jackie's Quench Moisture Intense Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm very heavy-handed on stuff, guys, so yeah. Take some more. This is when I kind of separate it on my own into two little sections and do this a little more. This is one half. Just to coat all the strands, you know. Told you guys, when I do my hair, it is so like Unlike anyone else, I do my stuff the way I feel like doing it, guys. It's just the way it is. Sorry, not sorry, you know? But anywho, a little bit more on that side. Sorry guys, it's the phone over. Not my phone, because I'm on my phone, but it's my husband's cell phone. And he's outside with my son riding his bike, with him while he's riding his bike. Alrighty, so let's just comb through this. And then comb through this side. Alrighty. So that is the leave one. I'm just gonna wipe my hands off a bit on my towel over here. Okay. So yeah, this is what it's looking like with just the leave in. So we're gonna go ahead and take the curl main tenants. Tenants, I don't know what that says, y'all. Defining curl whip. That's what we're gonna be using. All right, never. It's my first time trying it, so. Oh, this is thick. Look at that. That's thick, thick. Yeah, thicky, thick, thick. Thick. Okay. Now take. A lot because I'm working on both of these sections at the same time. A little bit more. Comb that through, comb this through. All right, so this section right here, guys, I'm just gonna twist it real quick. My little tiger clip, just to hold it for a minute while I Put this cream through all of my hair the shingling that's what I tend to do every time is just shingle 
Can you guys see that? Feel like I need a little more right there. Feel like it needs a little bit more up in that section, a little dry. Okay. And you guys can see. That's it's okay, but it's not giving me super, super, super curls like I like. But it's okay. I mean, it's okay. I like it. Um, but with that Shea Moisture, because I love Shea Moisture is my go-to. That Curl Enhancing Smoothie, and that's like my go-to. I usually use the Curl Enhancing Smoothie and my um, Cannabis Eco Styler Gel. That's what I use all the time for my wash and goes. Those, those are my two products. The Eco Styler and the Curl and Souffle by Shea Moisture. I love those two. But this actually is looking pretty good now on camera. Okay. But anyway, that's the... Um, uh, I always got to take the last product off. Let me just wipe my hands. And then I put my hands into the new product. Okay. So now we're going to go in with the um, Flaxseed Gel. Is that what it is? Flaxseed Long 80 Curl Gel. And um, get some of that here. Yes. I just like to rub it through my hair before I shingle that stuff. Again, y'all, I do stuff my way. As long as it comes out right, just like in my makeup, I do it the way I want to, as long as it looks presentable. All right, yes, this gel is very, very slippery. <laughs> slippery, very loosey goosey. I'm gonna actually put a little bit more. Heavy handed. All righty, so since we got that. That's, now nah, there you go, okay. Now they starting to come to life. Now they starting to come to life. All right. Okay, so anywho, let's go back through that shingling. Just getting every strand, which is what I normally do um, on all my wash and goes is that sh is shingle, shingle, shingle. It's the easiest to me. I just, I don't know. It's just easy. I kind of rake it through and finger comb at the same, I mean finger detangle at the same time, although it's already detangled, but you know. So we will see, but I don't really like the way this is feeling, but it's okay. I'm so used to my some of the other stuff I use, but it's okay. You know, everything may not feel or look the way you want it to right away, but it's about the end results. You know what I'm saying? Because it doesn't matter what it looks like when it's wet, because that's not how you're wearing it. It's wet. You're wearing it dry. So, yeah. So, okay, guys, this is it 
for this section and like I said that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the rest of my head the leave-in the um the what is this the flaxseed defining curl whip and the flaxseed gel that's what I'm going to be doing throughout the rest of my hair. But see, this is what they're looking like now, guys. So, yeah, I'll see you back after I complete the whole head. All right, guys, here I am. And I have completed the wash and goo for the most part. I've added all the products and this is what it is looking like now. And guys, of course, you know, I say this because um, some Body new might be watching but these two sides are longer than the rest of my hair because that's the way I have my bob cut for it to go you know down like this but anyway um yes yeah, so uh yeah this is what it's look like the curls look pretty good they're still not you know I don't know that I'm not feeling it like that <laughs> I'm, I'm just not I don't know just not they're not they don't I don't know y'all it's, it's I don't know it could be me all the way which it probably is but whatever I mean it is what it is I wash it I use the products and it is so oh and another thing I want to say these two products that I did use um, do not mix well together so I will never use these two products again together because they don't mix well together I mean I didn't do the mix test like I should have. Um, I haven't did the mix test in a long time because usually I just take the products and put them together because I, uh, the products I usually use uh, for my combos lately have been from watching other um, natural hair YouTubers and you know they've already done it so I know that they work. So for probably about the past six months I haven't did any testing because I use what someone else is using. But like I said, because they did not, I mean, because I did not have enough of the Shea Moisture, I had to substitute with this. I don't know, I had other stuff that probably was better or more similar or, or better than this, but because I never used this, I said I would go ahead and use it because it was in the whole Aunt Jackie line. I was feeling Aunt Jackie today for some reason. I don't know why, but anyway, I don't know. It didn't mix well together. Um, you see little tiny white balls and all that mess like that and it just i don't know <sighs> you guys all i can say is pray for your girl because i'm not washing it out i'm gonna let it go i'm gonna let it dry and see what it do now um i will be back tomorrow today is sunday so i will probably come back on on monday once i have you know uh, my face done and everything if not monday to be tuesday because i'm not sure if i'm going anyway tomorrow or even if my hair will be completely dry by tomorrow sometimes it takes the next day like the end of the evening tomorrow but if not it'll be completely dry on tuesday because it can take a day to a day and a half sometimes two days for my hair to dry just especially up here without me having to use a uh, dryer which i don't want to do so, I mean, I have nothing against using heat because I use heat, but I'm just, you know, when I do my washing, I just like them to air dry. So, again, either it will be Monday or Tuesday, but I'll let you guys know. So, for now, you know, here we go. This is what the curls are looking like. Bring it up a little bit more. I mean, they you can see the curls, but mm, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's it, guys. See you in the next one. Hey guys, welcome to day two. All right, as you know, I washed my hair on Sunday. Today is Tuesday, so, um, you know, two days. Um, so I am now, my hair is completely dry, so um, I'm going to take it down and see what this combo did to my hair. If it worked, if it didn't work, I don't know, because I didn't take it down yesterday on Monday. I didn't have anything to do, which I was so happy about, so I just laid around. Now, I did have to be ghetto on these streets yesterday because I did have to go to the supermarket um, to get a couple things, but I went just like this. I don't care. But anywho... So yeah, today is Tuesday and I do have some things to do today and I wanted to film a couple videos today as well. So I decided to um, go ahead and take down my hair and let's see what I'm working with. So without further ado. Oh goodness. It smells good. Even if it doesn't come out right, it sure smells good. And Jackie's products are, you know, they smell good. Alrighty, so, yeah. This is what we're looking like. Taking it out. It has a little something. I don't know. It doesn't feel 
I don't know. I feel like I don't have any hold. Because you know when you feel your hair. I can tell my hair has hold. And if it, it does not feel great you guys. But I'm going to take my favorite Camille Rose um, oil right here. And I'm almost out of this too. So I got to get some more. I have a different oil in there. But um, I think I'm going to try. There's some other ones I wanted to try. Probably, I might not get that one right away. I will get it again because I do like it. But um, I want to try some other ones. So yeah you guys. I can tell just by putting my hands in my hair. This has a no type of definition for me. Not for me. I don't like this at all. At all. Oh, you guys can see the curls. I mean, it has some definition to it, but you know, I like a little bit more deep. I feel like it's drying too. It's not moist. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I mean, it has some definition here. I, don't get me wrong, but like I said, it's, it's dry. It doesn't look moist at all, you guys. And the back again is sticky. And the back looks like it has, feels like it has no, 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 no curls at all, people. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I just got to try to pull it down. I don't even think I'm going to diffuse this, guys, because I don't like it. I can tell. I mean, I don't even think I'm going to work with it because I do not like it at all. Oh, goodness gracious. My $5 hair challenge uh, came out better than this combo. And those products were only a dollar. Jeez. Um, yeah. You guys, I don't even... Look, okay. Let me bring you up a little bit close. See? I don't want to be too close. So you can, I mean, you can see that there's definition in these curls. There's definitely definition. And it's cool. But it feels, I don't know, dry. It feels brittle. My hair doesn't feel like that. I don't know. Those combinations didn't work well together, guys. It did not. The the curls, see the curls, the way the curls are looking now, it makes me feel like I've had this wash and go in for like 10 days or so. Where they're starting to, you know, get be less defined and things. But um, guys, yeah. Yep. This is a no-go for your girl. I am not wearing my hair like this. This has no... Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, you know, it may look nice to some people, but no, this isn't for me. Uh-uh. Yeah, I like how poofy it is. I do like that. And that's without diffusing. I like that poofiness. Like that poofy. Like that poofy. But if I, look, I'm going to turn around the back in a minute. I just wanted to see if I can pull it down a little bit for you guys. Because it's like... I have to pull it too much. It has no definition. I feel like it's just like hair with no curls. It just feels like an afro back here. It really doesn't appear to be nice, you guys. So let me turn around for you. Just a little. Turn around for you. But yeah, again, I like this poof. Kind of looks okay from far away, but no curl definition. And plus, also, as I'm doing this, I can see a lot of flakes. That's what I was saying about the products don't go well together. You know what I'm saying? I can see a lot of flakes falling, and I don't do that. You know, or I have that usually. So, anyway, let's go ahead and turn around. So, yeah, that's what the back is looking like, guys. Um, yeah, your girl done had herself a fail. I done got a killer combo fail. So, whatever. But guys, we're going to do something with this. Alrighty, guys. So, yeah. This is what I had to do to fix that uh, mess of a combo that I used to create my wash and go um yeah I just gelled up my hair and put on my little faux curly girl ponytail which I really really like so um yeah I think it looks cute like this um I did have a um bang hanging down here but um I had gelled my hair up and did all that stuff first and um left the bang out a little side bang you know from the side of my hair and when I looked at it I realized it was not the same texture and I did not have time to go in and you know like do some either some um those rollers or the little not even the rod sets because it wouldn't have been the same texture but those uh, I can't even think of the name of those little small um 
rollers that you could use to give the same type of texture. I didn't have time to do that. So by the time I realized that it was just sitting here. So I decided to just put it up and I just, you know, rolled it up a little bit and um, put it in the, you know, just threw it back here just to add a little something, something. But yeah, guys. So um, again, that wash and go combo was a definite fail. And, you know, you got to work with what you got. If you don't like it, then you make it to what you like. So anywho. And guys, there will be a video on this makeup look that I have on. I'm not sure if it will be before or after this one, whichever one I get to editing first. I'm not even sure, but um, it will be seen one day this week. So yeah, I really appreciate you watching today, you guys, and seeing the terrible, terrible wash and go combo. But anyway... Um, I'm not saying the products are uh, terrible. That's what I did want to say. The products are not terrible themselves. It's just together. They did not work out. They didn't work out together. But alone, because I've used that flaxseed gel before, um, you know, and I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't use it as an actual, on top of a styler like that before. Um, I can't remember what I used it on because I only used it once. I can't even remember which I had got that, you know, to use that from another video that I have watched, but I can't remember right now. But anyway so thank you so much for watching today everyone if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload like the video and comment thank you so much guys appreciate you